Well hello all, this is my first attempt at doing an unboxing video, uh, so please forgive me if any uh, inaccuracies or uh, mispronunciations, but as it's uh, being recorded just live, so we'll uh, see how we go. Anyway, um, I ordered um, a package from spidersworld.eu on the 31st of May, um, and which was posted on the 4th of June, which was last Monday, and it's arrived here in the UK on the 8th of June, on the Friday, so it's, it's made good time. Here's the package. Uh, nice set of Polish stamps, if you're into Polish stamps there. So let's have a little look in here and see what we've got, what goodies we've got in the box. Um, we've got nine teas in here. Um, all slings, pretty much. Um, some one or two a little bit larger slings than, than the others. Uh, but then we also got one mature male. I'll tell you about those, tell you about them as we go. So nice packaging here. Uh, inside there's a polystyrene box with a bit of paper there. Uh, the teas all being in here. Uh, all in good condition. Bash is all bash, but um, bash is all dense or anything to the packaging. This looks all nice and compact. So we've got some tissue in here, and here are the containers containing the little critters themselves. So let's have a look. See what we've got here. So here we have first one out of the tub. Here is a Brachypalma albiceps. Uh, we've got one of those in the container. We have two of these which are uh, Lassiodoro Parabana, which is the Brazilian Salmon Pink. We've got two of those little critters in here somewhere. That's one. Um, so let's find the other one, keep them together. There's the other LP, as it's called. There we go. Um, there's, here we have uh, Brachypelma Bomi if it's how it's pronounced. Uh, there's two of these in here. And one, and here's the second one. Brachypelma bomi, uh, often called Mexican fire leg. Was it Mexican fire leg? Mm, maybe. I'm not too good on the common names. I go by the Latin names. So um, here we have a, so there, all New World species, and we've got a couple of um, Old World species, here, African species. This is a uh, Trinochilus crudatus, uh, the Kilimanjaro baboon. Little one of those. Now, in the same genus, we have a slightly bigger critter, and this is the famous OBT, uh, Trinochilus murinus. There we are. Orange baboon tarantula, or as people like to call it, the orange bitey thing. Um, slightly bigger, bigger version there. Uh, in here, we have the male. Now, this is a, a mature male, uh, Neocenotarsis, uh, species French Guiana. Now, I had a pair of these uh, with a mature male, and I did try to pair the I pair them together. The male was not interested and neither really was the female. And after a period of time, uh, the poor little male rolled up the, rolled up the mortal coil and uh, pegged it. So as I was ordering from spidersworld.eu, um, I saw they had a mature male, male, so I thought, well, might as well add it to the order as I'm paying one lot of postage. Uh, just a note on postage. Uh, postage to the UK was £11 track delivery which um, from Poland I thought was quite good because often uh, the going rate for raw mail special delivery next day delivery here in the UK from UK suppliers is nine pounds so you know 11 pounds from Poland isn't bad at all this time of year um, you know with the weather's being good then there's no problem with with temperatures now here we have um, which you know I'm kind of course considered the, the cream of the crop in some ways because it's quite um, unusual to come across these. Um, I haven't seen many 
but I thought I'd treat myself to one. And this is an Afonopalma species, um, famously called Johnny Cashy. So I have one or two Afonopalma species already, but I quite fancied um, having a Johnny Cashy added to the collection. So there we have it, nine teas. Um, safely made a little journey from Poland to Blighty here. Um, there they are in their little tubs and I shall carry on with the video shortly as I put them into their new enclosures and we'll see how that goes. So here we are at the next part of the housing of the new teas from spidersworld.eu. Uh, seven of them, as you can see, are going to go into uh, 130 milliliter, 130 milliliter rubs. Um, I've got them prepared here. Um, here's the one for the Bumi. Uh, I've got uh, a quantity of substrate in there, which I use a 50-50 mix of coca and topsoil and in there is a uh, piece of plastic plant to allow anchorage for any webbing or give the, uh, the sling a chance to hide under it or dig under it or do whatever it wants. I find it works really well. Um, there's a few extra holes drilled in the side of those at the top um, which gives a bit of extra ventilation. I don't tend to add um, water containers to the small sling, these small rubs, they work really well as they are. These uh, things will grow relatively quickly depending on what species they are and will be moved on to larger enclosures as and when. Um, but they, they do really, really well. So uh, just get these sorted out and we'll start um, rehousing the little critters. Okay, you guys, so here we go with the first one. And uh, this is, I'll try and get this turned around so you can see what I'm doing. This is the one of the Brachypelma boomies. Um, uh -huh. As I said earlier, that's why I'm getting this out here. As I said earlier, um, I don't put water containers into these um, little uh, 130 milliliter rubs, but I do um, keep one corner of the uh, substrate uh, moist um, on, on an as and when basis when they're checked kind of weekly. Now the paper towel or tissue whatever it is in these little containers is still quite moist sticking to the sides um, and Cut it out now, just in case we're unwrapping the little fella and finding them inside. We have oops, there we are, little fella. I'll just bring that up and show you. Easily done there. If I can get this oh, little thing, where are we? Here we are. So, there's the little first of the Brachypalmas, the Bomi. That's one. Let's do, um, let's do the Albiceps next. So, there we go. Same sort of setup. I may try and, if it jumps a bit when you're watching this, it may be that I've cut some of this time out of here. Um, I know some people fast forward, but I tend, I will hopefully um, cut some of this out so that we jump to the chase sort of thing um, to find, we get them in. So, but we'll, it might even be you find that some of this voiceover uh, is missing. If it is, uh, I may try and put a caption to say there's a miss or a cut short or, or what have you. Right, this little fellow looks like he's just coming out. Oh, he's going back, backwards. Brilliant. Okay. Now, I have a, a, an older 
uh, Albus Epps. Um, it's a female and she's beautiful. A lovely spider. Um, let's get the tease that one in there. Okay, lovely. Yeah, these are lovely sized little um, slings. Um, just so I can get you a look at that one. There we are. That's uh, Brachypelma albiceps. Let's have a look at one of the, the salmon pinks now. We'll do the, the we'll do the different species um, rather than do the doubles on each one. I'll just do one of each. With small spiderlings, though, they grow very quickly. I've I've grown on uh, very small slings of uh, the Lassadoria before. Ooh, it's one right down the bottom here. Oh, here we go. Excellent. Right, we've got the... Let's find out how it unwraps. Here we go. Here we have a little... And that's the Adora Parabana. Let's say two of those. Um, off you go little fella, running around very quickly, get in, get in, come on. Right, you're in, okay, very fast. That's why they're in a, as you can probably see, a plastic, larger plastic tray here, because should they leg it out of their little enclosure, um, I've got the cat pot here ready to to get them. Okay, so we've done a baby, we've done a parabana. Right, we'll do the Torino Chilus Cordatus here. Uh, the Kilimanjaro baboon. Now, obviously being an old world, well, it's, it's going to be tiny. Um, I hope it's going to be just as hopefully easy to remove and not grumpy um, I know I guess this one could move fast if it really wanted to um, very very thin this tissue in this one Hmm. They tend to, I don't know if you can see anything here, you can't actually see anything, I should be holding it a bit lower, but I need to hold it up so I can actually see uh, the tea itself and what I'm actually, oh here we go. Right, now I'm gonna actually going to lower this one straight into there. Um, and find another pair of tweezers. And unwrap it. Excuse me, my hands in the way, uh, but I do want to unwrap this one just to have a look at it. I mean, I could leave it in the wrapped up in the tissue, but it's, uh, I have had no BT before. I've n I haven't had any other African. Sp well, I have got some um, uh, sock. I've got a sock to Island Blue communal. Which um, I hopefully will post up the video at some point of building their enclosure, which was was fun. Um, there we go. Right, lid are ready. Lid on, Kilimanjaro baboon. I'm not going to take the lid off this one, but you can see the little critter up the corner there. Perfectly adequate size containers for these guys. Um, okay, right, so the last one of the little, I haven't taken old pots, will do is for the Afonopelma 
Johnny Cashy. So, there we go. Now this is, this is a tiny, uh, very small uh, thing, but um, they managed to secure a, a luxury, um, spacious ride over here to the UK. And there it is in there. I you can see. I don't know if that'll focus. May do, may not. Try, I'll try zooming in. No, I don't think that's going to work with them um, when it comes to focusing. Uh, so I'll hopefully, if this little creature is uh, not very flighty, and we'll go into their new enclosure nice and calmly. Then I'll show you what they look like. There we go. And there we have um, Fauna Palma, oh, Johnny Cashy. The best I can get on focus on that one, I'm afraid. Because, um, all right, come on, little fella. Here we go. And you go, down you go. Lid. There we are, Fauna Palma, Johnny Cashy. More in good condition, these uh, tees. All right, I'm going to stop the video at that point, so I'm going to do the other two, and then we've got right, two so more to do. Uh, the OBT is now housed. I decided not to film doing it because I wanted to have both hands free. I wanted to be thinking carefully about what I was doing to make sure I got um, this little crew into their new enclosure. Now, um, hopefully you can see here, this is in the next size up container that I use. It's... Um, uh, approximately 250 mil clip top container, easy to get into. Um, this little fella went in very easily. He did run out into the um, the larger tray that I've got here, caught him easily with the catch cup, but he's very fast as well. So um, I'm glad I didn't try and film it at the same time because I would have maybe not been concentrating on on you know the the the, the spider itself. Uh, there you can see. Uh, the OBT in there, that will soon web that up and get settled in and all be good. You see, a, a, a quite a bit bigger. Um, I, it was it was um, billed as um, 3.5 centimetres um, and rough kind of check here. I'm guessing, yeah, it is, it's three, about 3.5 centimetre uh, diagonal um, leg. Span. So there we are, the Torino Chillus Murinus Isambara. Um, and then the enclosure all tucked up nicely. Let them web up and we can get them fed and things. Uh, so the last one to do goes into the next uh, size up tub that I tend to use. And this is a plastic, I don't know if it's a 12 ounce tub or not, I haven't worked out what, what size it is. But this is the size at which I do start putting in a um, water holder. There we go, so that's the size water container that goes in there. So it's a tiny bit bigger than I would normally put in. Um, I fill that up whoop, using a syringe with uh, an inkjet cartridge nozzle on it. Now it's the Neocenotarsis species uh, French Guiana going in here, mature male. Um, now these are a dwarf species, they're not very big at all. And there they are. Um, quite docile, so shouldn't have any problems with this little chap here um, coming out and, and settling in hopefully. Just find the large tongs so I can carefully pull, I can carefully pull this Packing out with the spider inside, like that, and this packaging is not wet, but it's you know moist, which is how it should be for transit. All good there. So hopefully, there we are. Oh, now they just. 
look like he may have made, or he made a sperm web, his pedipalps, whoop, pedipalps, look a little bit swollen maybe, not hugely, uh, there we are, Neostenotarsis um, French Guiana, mature male. And he is going to go into there. We're going to find my little brush, which is over here. All right, little fella. As you can see, very calm at the moment. Not particularly running, running off. There he is. Now. I'm guessing he may well be um, freshly moulded. I'll have to email um, spidersworld.eu. Um, I don't know what sort of picture you'll get on the video of that, um, but he's got rather a nice butt there, nice pattern on it. Now, maybe the old the male I had before was quite old, but he certainly didn't have. Those kind of um, those kind of markings, but it'll be fine in there. Now I'll get him settled, and at some point introduce him to uh, the new female. So just have a little quick look at the enclosures all together before I sign off. So there's a neo senotarsis. We'll put that there, and we'll pop the. Trino Chilis Marinus on top there, and there we have um, Brachypalma Femi, Azidora Parabana. Are we getting all in the shot? Yeah, I think so. Brachypalma Femi again, two of those. Another Parabana, uh, Brachypalma Albiceps, the Terracino, Terino Chilis Quadratus. Kilimanjaro Brown, and last but not least, but rather pleased with this little fella, um, is the Fauna Palma Johnny Cashy. So guys, that's my first attempt at doing an unboxing video. I hope it was kind of okay. It might jump around a bit, um, but if that is because I've cut out the lengthy bits, but um, yeah, I'll have to try this again. So off to feed the rest of the critters now. So, Rod signing off. See Hello else. again. Um, just a quick addition to the original video here. Uh, I soon realised that the, this 250mm uh, uh, container was, was way too small for the OBT. Um, no, no sooner did I put him in here than he'd started webbing up on the, the lid, um, which was going to make it nigh impossible to feed, feed him without um, uh, disturbing him and the risk of him teleporting out and up my arms so I decided to move him on to a much more suitable container this um, one and a half litre uh, clip top container here uh, I've put a little piece of uh, wood in there and some plastic plant and a, um, a water bowl and this is much more suitable. It's got a bit of height to it so that you can take the lid off and feed it. Already uh, the OBT has made itself at home. Um, he's tunnelled, or he or she, don't know the sex of this one yet, uh, has tunnelled in and just in the centre of the picture there, uh, you may be able to see if it focuses okay, a little disturbance in the substrate. The OBT has made himself uh, a little home in there um, underneath the piece of wood. Um, so that's it's going to eventually web that all up as it grows much much better for the for the OBT so really happy with that one much nicer container um, I had to free this up and rehouse I use these containers for um, raising Carabiner Versicolor in uh, move one out of here which is six seven centimeters uh, diagonal leg span which is well due to come out so that freed that container up and was perfect for the OBT uh, just before I sign off again, I just want to say I highly recommend uh, spidersworld.eu. Uh, mail order was great. Teas were really, really good. Um, of course, they do attend various events in the UK, so I'll certainly be catching up with them when I do do visit the, the exhibitions. Okay, right, this is Rog signing off at the end 
of this housing and unboxing video. Thanks for watching.